Today we're looking at the Dexter 10 inch hydraulic brake assembly, part number 23-313. This setup is for the right hand side and the way we tell it is by this configuration the forward shoe lining will be thinner or smaller than the rear shoe lining or your primary shoe. This is a single servo setup which means it has one wheel cylinder and one piston that pushes out against the shoes and they will create a wedge effect inside the brake hub drum assembly. Couple this assembly with the left hand side and the pair will create 3,500 pounds and braking capacity. To get the measurement of our assembly, we'll simply measure across the linings and see that it's a 10 inch width. Then we can measure the brake linings themselves and see that it's two and a quarter. So our hub drum assembly that set up will have to be a 10 inch by two and a quarter inch assembly. When mounting our backing plate to our axle, it has four studs pre-pressed in to, through the backing plate. It will bolt up to the axle flange through these four bolts. You want to make sure that you have a four bolt setup. On your initial installation, you'll need to use the star wheel adjuster to push the brake linings out to meet your hub drum assembly braking surface. You'll want to create a light drag on the initial setup. Then as the linings wear down, you'll also need to adjust that star wheel, which can be done through the backing plate access hole to keep that light drag and keep the clearances between the shoe linings and the hub drum assemblies to a minimum. And there you have it for our hydraulic brake assembly from Dexter Part number 23-313.